Okay, we're back up and running. We're gonna wait a few minutes to let people trickle in, just giving you a view of Old Main. We'll get started in a few minutes. We had some technical difficulties. I did not have enough service, so fingers crossed we'll have some, some good service. See, people are starting to trickle in. Hello, hello. Trying to see if I can see a list of who's viewing. Feel free to place your name and your class year where you're joining from in the chat so I can see who's joining us today, or in the comments, I should say. I'm used to doing WebEx events. <laughs> Wave hi, Shauna. Shauna's my, uh, my concierge, or what's it called? When you drive people around, huh? Limo drive? Uh, that's not a limo. Gem driver. Gem driver. <laughs> Chauffeur. Chauffeur. Yes, very good. Very good. All right. I'm gonna switch this over. We're going ahead and get started. Hi, everyone. My name is Taylor Lynch, uh, class of 2017, and I work in the Alumni Engagement Office as one of our assistant directors. Um, I'm excited everyone's joining us today. Hi, Elaine. It says Elaine Austin is watching. Yay. Um, I'm excited everyone is joining us for our virtual campus tour. It's going to be about an hour. Um, unfortunately, we won't be able to see everything of, um, around campus, but that's just the more incentive to come back to campus. Um, in person, excuse me, uh, next year for um, our in-person annual reunion. Um, and we hope to share some more on social media as well. Hi, Anne. Hi, Leon. Thanks for joining us. Um, if you just joined, please feel free to put your name, your class here, where you're joining from in the chat, um, and any questions that you might have. Um, this event our, our virtual tour is sponsored by the SUNY Cortland Alumni Association um, and is part of our 2021 virtual reunion programming. At the beginning of each of our events, we like to remind everyone of the following. The SUNY Cortland Alumni Association takes pride in creating among our Cortland family an inclusive environment for alumni, students, faculty, staff, and all other campus community members. Any demonstration of bias, racism, derogatory remarks, or any other actions that individually or systematically harm others have no place in our university community and will not be tolerated. By attending or participating in this event, you acknowledge that you will act in a respectful manner. Failure to adhere to this statement will not be tolerated and you may be asked to leave the activity or, or event. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with our tour. Um, like I said, it'll last us about an hour. We won't be able to see everything, but feel free to um, place your questions in the chat um, or even comments um, and we'll, we'll engage in that way throughout the tour. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I can turn this around here. So we're on upper campus right now, um, up at Old Main, um, which is our oldest building on campus. We first started as an all girls education school in 1868, and many of you may know um, that the this is not our first building. Um, the Cortland Normal School was actually down um, downtown um, and uh, burnt up in a tragic fire, um, but this was the first building on um, the current Cortland campus. So heading into Old Main, uh, try to show you as much of um, campus as possible. In here in the lobby, we have the cornerstone from the normal school, which is really exciting. Um, they did place it there during the um, sesquicentennial last year. You'll hear me breathing a little heavy. I do have asthma, <laughs> but I am fine. Um, let's see if I can turn on some lights for Brown Auditorium. It's beautiful, but I can't find the lights. So just gonna take a little walk through campus, show you um, some classrooms, what things are new, what things are the same um, around campus. Let me see if this door is not open. So classrooms and um, administrative, or not administrative, department offices in here. Um, many of you may remember coming to classes here in Old Main. 
Um, see if we can see some of the department areas down here. Um, fun fact, these actually used to be suites um, for, since this was our only building on campus. Um, these used to be the suites where the, uh, the students would live. So there were classrooms, Brown Auditorium was um, a lecture hall, um, and then these were the suite areas for the students. So it's kind of fun. We've definitely expanded since then. Um, yeah, we just passed the, the study abroad board. Uh, the study abroad office is upstairs. Um, so I know many of you have uh, studied abroad, which is awesome. Um, it's still very popular here today. Um, if you did study abroad, feel free to share in the comments where you studied abroad, what semester. So, like I said, we're just gonna get kind of a view of everything um, on campus, whether that's exterior, we'll do some interior um, and do a little walking around campus because we have lots of buildings and lots of, um, Lots of different renovations and things going on around campus. You may notice um, uh, if you did join President Bitterbaum's campus update yesterday, um, he did mention that the campus is going through a, um, um, so all of the lamp posts on campus are being replaced to make our campus safe, which is exciting. Um, but there is now during the summer when the students aren't here, so. Oh, says I'm having connectivity issues. Yes, or not join us, but if you didn't check out, we did do a video tour of Moffitt um, earlier this year on social media as it's been fully renovated. If you didn't see it, now you get to see it. So the entrance looks kind of the same, but once you get in here, you can see that everything has been renovated. It's beautiful. Um, the gyms are gone, but um, just huge atrium areas for students to study, um, have a quick snack. The coffee shop is currently closed, um, but throughout the school year, um, it would typically be open. Um, and then upstairs, there are classrooms and department areas as well. So trying to get a 360 view here. Um, won't be going upstairs, but try and show you one of the classrooms over here. Just so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Here we go, we got lights. There we go, so here's one of the classrooms in Moffitt. Um, newly renovated, um, set up for the fall. And we're excited to have our students back on campus this fall, so. That's Moffat. Got a beautiful skylight up there as well. Looks totally different. Um, and then this back part of Moffat was actually renovated, I believe in 2007 or 2008. Um, so if you've been back to campus since then, um, a classroom and then the Brooks Museum um, to um, anthropology, sociology, a lot of criminology, a lot of those different Very cool, very fun. We're going to exit and head over to Sperry. Now we did, this is a construction I was talking about. Um, we did go ahead um, into Sperry earlier today just to see if any of the classrooms were open. Um, unfortunately, they are locked over the summer, which is good um, to keep things safe, but um, I will shine the camera in there. It's a lot lighter than Brown Auditorium was, but um, Sperry's are building with mostly lecture halls. Um, so for the bigger classes, um, things that we offer to a lot of students, 100, 200 level classes um, that have to be offered to a lot of students. So I'm gonna switch over here. You can kind of see it's backlit. This is one of our smaller lecture halls and then across the way here. 
This is our biggest lecture hall on campus. Um, can't really get a great view of it just because the door's locked. Um, but does hold some of our bigger um, general education classes. They never fill it all the way. Um, it is capped at a, at a certain number, but I think this is definitely the most nostalgic lecture hall named after David, class of 67. So trying to give you a better idea of how large it is. Um, and then another lecture hall over here and many more upstairs. Um, yeah. Again, if you're just joining in with us, feel free to let us know where you're joining in from, your name and class here in the comments or anything you'd like to know or like to see. Um, and maybe we can accommodate you. Uh, getting a good view of Bowers. Right now our science building um, was recently renovated within the past probably five to 10 years. Um, at least the, the front part of it that you're seeing with the um, planetarium. We will not be going inside Bowers today. Here's my chauffeur. Say hi, Shauna. Shauna's very excited. To get across campus, um, we rented a gym car um, and I thought it was not safe to drive it myself while we were, um, while we were filming. So safety first, friends. Hopefully, fingers crossed. She, she being the gym car, not Shauna. Uh, <laughs> keeps us going we love her hello so down there's Van Heusen um, Cornish the education building we've got the library up here um, we are going to go down to middle campus raining for the past probably three weeks <laughs> um, so this is like the first sunny day that we've had and I know they're Oh, another tour. Look at this. Crazy. Um, hi, Kathy. Thanks for joining us. And Kim. Kathleen. Awesome. So happy to have you here. Um, they've been mowing like crazy, so we might run into one of the mowers. Um, so hopefully that doesn't interfere with our audio. But just passing. Oh, there's us in the jump car. <laughs> just <laughs> passing the education building, the entrance to the education building. Um and as well as the um, the child care center as well. There's their little playground. They're out playing today. It's nice out. Van Heusen's right behind that. Um, houses a lot of classrooms. Um, the communications studies department, as well as career services, uh, student health services, counseling center, um, and all that fun jazz. We love to see people touring Cortland. Very exciting. We'll head over to Cory Union as well. Oh, Shauna's crossing the road. <laughs> a little scary. Um, we will head over to Cory Union. Unfortunately, we can't get into any of the residence halls um, because they are being uh, cleaning. They are being cleaned and flipped uh, for the next semester. So, but we will go by them and we can see it. Yeah, right here is good. Thank you much, Lee. I will see you over at Cory Union, Shauna. Bye. My little chauffeur. We love it. So I'm gonna head in to Newbig just so you can see what things are looking like. Hello. Showing alumni what campus is looking like today. Very exciting. All right. Hi Tracy, thanks for joining us. I love that everyone's sharing their majors too. That's awesome. So the campus store is in here. Campus, great place to get your Cortland gear, but you can also order online, like I was saying, um, from anywhere and they will um, ship to you. And you can use the code alumni to get 15% off your order, which is really exciting. Um, don't think we can go upstairs. New Big is closed. Most of the dining halls are closed or dining facilities um, closed over the summer. There is one across the street that's open that we're... Okay. As I was saying, um, just because the students aren't here, the, the, um, all the dining facilities aren't 
open, but they do have one uh, open for lunch for faculty and staff. And check both ways. There's Shauna, look at her. She's so magical. Um, so Core Union, many of you probably spent many an hour here at Core Union. Um, it's our current student union. Um, all of our clubs and organizations um, are housed here, can host their um, club meetings, events, etc. cetera. Um, also an event space if you've been up in the function room or two of the lounges down here. Um, we do hold lots of college events here in Quarry Union. Recently got new flooring, which is very exciting. Uh, the voice, voice office is over here. Um, and we will go downstairs so that you can see. Um, downstairs got a, a total overhaul, um, I believe last year. Um, it might have been the year before. It was before the pandemic. Student government office. Kind of still looks the same. We can walk down here and show you. The office is currently closed because it's the summer, but you can still see what's going on here. And we'll go ahead and go downstairs. Open the door and it's like walking into a different realm, I swear. Thanks for joining us, see Terry. So this is the downstairs of Core Union. Very exciting. You can see the renovations kind of started here. Um, this area over here hasn't really changed too much, but there's, um, this is the restaurant that's open, Pomodori and Greens and Greens, um, and eating areas. There's also, typically during the class year, um, a coffee shop, but great place to eat, study, hang out with friends. Um, the Musical Legacy Projects uh, sculpture is all lit up here. Hello, good, how are you? And some more lounge areas. So they really made it a nice, bright, um, welcoming area for, for students to um, spend time during the semester. Um, one of our other dining halls is down there. You can see some of the, the residence halls, Glass Tower, Fitzgerald Hall. You can see Clark Tower behind there. Like I said, we won't be able to go inside. Thank you, chauffeur. We won't be able to go inside, but you can see what it looks like. Get some water here. I told him I'm breathing heavy, I got asthma. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where did everyone live when they were on campus? I'd love to know. Fitzgerald Hall, there's Glass and Bishop, Alger, Clark. Some of the other residence halls you can't see in the back. Um, oh my God, <laughs> my brain's going. <laughs> There's Randall right here, Hayes, in the back of Hayes. Now I can't remember any of the names. Clark says hi back, Kathy. Cheney Hall, we walked by Cheney Hall up on Upper Campus. Dragon's right on the end here. And then the towers. Um, I'm hoping to be able to do a video tour of the tower sometime during the next semester um, because Smith just got totally redone inside. I don't know if you can kind of see it through the trees. Um, Smith totally got redone and Casey will be next. Uh, we're waiting <laughs> at the red light. <laughs> Hayes, Higgins, Towers. Higgins, yes, Higgins was back there. I'm trying to think of the other two. Shay, Shay is in the back of the quad. Hello. I don't know what else to show you. UPD is also down here now. Um, a few years ago was in um, Van Heusen, but they got moved um, down here to Winchell, which I know used to be the international student um, housing. Um, it is no longer student housing. Uh, it houses UPD facilities and some of our other administrative offices. Yes, there is a red light. Um, <laughs> It's good for safety. We're gonna go 
Here's our Student Life Center. Student Life Center was completed in 2015. Multi-million dollar space, and you'll see why when we get inside. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, during the pandemic, for most of the pandemic, it was closed, um, just like much of the state. But we are back open, and it's very exciting um, to be able to come back to the, the fitness center and hang out at the Student Life Center. Thank you, Shauna. I appreciate it. I will be back. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get inside. Um, you can see here um, part of our beloved community narratives project. Uh, students, faculty, staff, alumni um, were involved um, in putting this together and they have installed the posters and the art throughout campus. So if you have a chance to come visit, definitely should. Um, this is Bistro um, and Fuel, which is a small grab and go shop. Um, two of our other dining facilities and outdoor pursuits is down this hallway. Um, let's see if the door is open. It is not, but outdoor pursuits, students can rent kayaks, canoes, bikes, camping equipment, um, and they also plan um, different programming and trips for the students to go on throughout the semester, which is awesome and it's really affordable. You're giving a tour too, I love it. We're giving an alumni tour <laughs> via Facebook Live, hello. Yes, can I, we're giving an alumni tour and I just, I just wanna walk through if that's okay. Thank you, I really appreciate it. So, okay, fitness center down here. All of the machines on this side in the back are our um, free weights. Upstairs, we'll go upstairs. You can see the, um, the cardio equipment in the track. We will walk down here and show you the courts um, as well as the pool. Hey, Connor. I'm giving the alumni a tour. Yes. Showing them what campus looks like. Very fun. Connor's alum too. Very fun. So our three um, basketball courts, these are all recreational use. Um, none of the athletic teams use these. It's just for um, all students to use. During the semester, this is where we hosted our um, campus testing center. Um, and then I'll show you the rock wall down here. Which is very exciting. The pool, again, only for recreational use. It's a hot tub in the back as well. And just give you a view of the bouldering wall over here that you're seeing. Um, and then the full rock wall. It's right behind this gate. Not open over the summer, but during the semester, students can come here. Hi, Mark, how are you? It's good to see you. I'm giving the alumni a tour. A tour are you? Yeah, on Facebook Live. Huh? Put me in if you want to, say hi. That's Mark, we love Mark. He keeps the Student Life Center clean and safe. It was good to see you. You too. Awesome. Got some games going on here. It looks like badminton, but I'm not really sure. Not super athletic. Uh, we're running into our other admissions tour over here. Everyone wants to see Cortland today. Very exciting. Locker rooms are down here. The family locker room um, for those with children um, are coming in through the community um, as well as both the locker rooms. Equipment checkout service. Um, it looks closed, but since they have a smaller staff this summer, all of the equipment is up at the front. Down this hallway, can't really see it, but there's a golf simulator, um, two cycling rooms. Um, I think that's it. Don't think I'm forgetting anything. We'll go upstairs and show you the track. Get a walk around the track a little bit. Show you everything that's up here. Some workout rooms, exercise group exercise rooms in the back where they hold classes. Um, mind and body room where they do yoga is back down that hallway as well. 
uh, and then functional training, CrossFit room, all the cardio equipment. Hello. Let me show you the track and then we'll head back down. Beautiful view of Park Center. We're gonna head there next. And as you can see, Lusk Field House. We won't go inside Lusk Field House, but still there. We actually held grad walk there throughout the, um, at the end of the spring semester. Here's the track. It goes around the entire building. It's about a fifth of a mile. Um, so if you don't wanna run any of the equipment, you can run around the track. I'm gonna head back downstairs. It's a massage therapy office. So if you wanted to get a massage, um, as well as offices for the personal trainers up here as well, you can hire a personal trainer to work with you. So that is our Student Life Center Fitness Center. We're gonna head back outside, head down to Lower Campus to see Park Center. Again, any questions you have, feel free to put them in the comments trying to keep this as steady as possible here um feel free to put them in the comments uh let us know where you're joining in from thank you i appreciate it <laughs> you too all right all right there's mikey he's one of our alums now too he was in my orientation group shout out mikey all right and we're back to Shauna. Shauna the chauffeur. It rolls off the tongue. Don't you think? She's laughing. <laughs> I was there so long ago that the field house was the only building on lower campus. Yeah, this used to be, I believe, Chugger Davis Field, right where we're I'm gonna head down to Park Center. Thank you. I'm trying to reconnect. We built the stadium um, where we play all the football games. Uh, soccer plays at the stadium as well. Um, and so, yeah, I can't remember when they started building this, but it, it finished in 2015 and I graduated in 2017 and a lot of my friends that graduated right before it opened were very, very jealous. Uh, yeah, right through there, please. Uh, very jealous that it was finally open. Um, but just the more reason to come visit. Um, if you come during alumni reunion next summer, uh, we offer you a free guest pass and you can access the Student Life Center um, for free, which is really exciting. So just more of the Student Life Center. This is the inside of uh, the, the back with the pool. Um, but over here we have, no, you're fine. <laughs> we have uh, the brand new tennis courts, the basketball courts were back there. Um, they, have, they were totally renovated, I believe two years ago as well. Um, so it's another great feature. Got the baseball field over here. Um, we're gonna head into Park Center and just walk around a bit. Um, we often get a lot of requests to, to see Park Center. Park Center may look a little different to you um, because they just did uh, a renovation project for the exterior. Um, so those brown tiles uh, were becoming a bit of a safety hazard. So they did um, a complete renovation of the exterior of Park Center. But as you'll see as we go inside, it looks very similar. All right, I'll come right out back here. So you can stay right here because we'll go straight back up. Awesome, thank you. Is the pool still in Park Center? Sheila wants to know. Yes, it is. Um, it's a little hard to access, so I won't be able to show you it, but the Olympic size pool um, where the swim team um, practices, competes is still in Park Center. They did have um, open swim trying to reconnect. They did have open swim, but when the Student Life Center reopened, or opened, um, free swim moved over there. So there's a pool now in the Student Life Center as well as Park Center. So Park Center will go upstairs, show you um, the gyms and the ice arena, alumni arena, and then walk back downstairs and show you some of the classrooms and the Hall of Fame room on our way out our wall of red letter award winners. Thanks everyone who's joining us. Sheila just had a great question about the pool. If you have questions, 
comments, um, anything you want to share, please let us know. Our C Club Hall of Fame members are all on this wall. Um, the store's open, so we're going to turn over here. For those of you who weren't here earlier, yes, I'm huffing. I have asthma. Um, I'm okay, I promise. <laughs> um, so the bleachers are up right now, but this is what the gym looks like today. And we're going to walk down our Hall of Champions. You can see all of the, um, all of the national titles, which is really exciting. Um, a lot of our awards throughout the years are in here as well as um, the NCAA trophies. Um, give me a good view. And then... We'll head right downstairs. We won't be able to see through those windows. Um, the alumni arena, so where we host um, women's and men's ice hockey, um, was the center last, most of last year for um, vaccines on campus. So the county came in and administered vaccines um, and needed a large space and Park Center Alumni Arena was the place for that. So I'll try and get you a peek, but the windows might still be covered with paper just because they were trying to keep things private for those getting vaccines this past year. Um, you'd see it a little bit. Obviously, there's no ice down right now. Try and reduce the glare here. Yeah, not a great shot because of the, the metal in the windows, but just got a new scoreboard. Um, and they've been doing some, some renovations to the rink as well um, before the pandemic and hopefully um, once we get back into the swing of things in the fall. I'm gonna walk down here, past athletic training, played broom ball there, yes. I was part of a broom ball team too, so fun. La, um, intramurals are so strong. Um, I should mention, oh, they're doing some construction. I don't know if I can walk through here. We're gonna be safe and not. Um, intramurals are still strong, um, a lot of them, are still played down here in Park Center. So basketball, volleyball, um, I know they do host some games over at the Student Life Center. Um, broom ball is in here, flag football out on the fields. Um, temporary, okay. All right. So yes, the athletic training is going through some renovations. Good to know. Remember these hallways well. Yes, it definitely looks the same, Kathy, um, except for the outside. The outside is very unrecognizable, but um, walking through here is definitely a blast from the past. So we're going to walk back up and all the way around just so we don't get in the way of the construction. I don't know if people are supposed to be walking through there. You can see our parking lots are pretty empty right now. Students aren't here. Back down the hall of champions. <coughs> In case you missed it the first time, very exciting. All right. So we're gonna finish up through here, walk through um, near the uh, hall of fame room, show you some more classrooms, um, and then head over to the, hey Rick, showing the alumni campus, yeah. Facebook Live. Very exciting, yes. Um, head over to professional studies, um, take a quick walk around professional studies, and then drive down, drive down by the fields. So, and that's where we'll end today. So, if you have any questions, comments, uh, things you'd like to share, just feel free to place them in the 
comments. And we're gonna walk down this way. It's very quiet in here. It's a lot of the um, athletic department offices, coaches, um, some phys ed offices as well, upstairs and downstairs. But we're just going to head right downstairs and check out the Hall of Fame room. Park Center is like a maze. <laughs> Lots of things being moved out of offices because um, they're waxing the floors. They do that often during the summer. Um, so that's why everything's out here. Oh, this looks like they redid the carpets, but that's why all the stuff is out of here. Here's the Hall of Fame room. Um, do stage cre does stage creamery still exist between... Cheney and DeGro, I'm assuming that's what the the question is. Um, up the hill, it does not, um, but there is still um, a food place uh, in Brockway downstairs. Um, upstairs is um, our administrative offices, but downstairs there is a um, a dining facility called Hilltop, um, and the students like it a lot. You can get pretty much anything there. Uh, pizza, wraps, sushi. I'm trying to see if some of these, oh, here's a classroom right here. Uh, pizza, sushi, salad bar. Um, it's dangerous to work above uh, because the food is so great. Um, one of our classrooms, it's got a lot of storage stuff in there. Let's see if empty because it looks like they just rewaxed the floor so we won't go in too far make sure we turn off the lights um but park center pretty much looks the same but yes we get we get a lot of comments um and questions about the creamery it was well loved by our alums um and unfortunately it does not exist anymore uh in brockway but uh, Hilltop has kind of taken over and the students seem to be pretty happy with it. So great question, Sheila. Anyone else have questions? Feel free to, um, throw them in the comments and I'll answer to the very best of my ability. Oh, there's Bessie Park. She's who's, um, this building is named after. So here's Park Center. We are going to hop back oh, trying to reconnect here and then end down by the field so just across the way my dear please bye park center see you later We'll head down and see the stadium um, right after this, and that's where we'll end for today. Appreciate everyone hopping on and joining us for a little walk through campus. Thank you, Shauna. We will be right back. Um, I'm not entirely sure when the professional studies building was added to our campus, but I know for a long time it was Studio West. Um, then it got renovated um, and we have a lot of uh, departments down here as well. Take an entrance. So you can see right up here, recreation, parks and leisure studies, hello, sport management, communication disorders, kinesiology. Can I still walk down here? Okay, just wanted to be sure. <laughs> Thank you. Um, kinesiology department down here. Um, offices, classrooms, conference rooms. Um, computer lab around the corner. 
um, some of the kinesiology labs are down there as well. Sheila asked, where does lacrosse play? Um, let's see if I can show you one of the sport management. Um, looks like a computer lab, but it's one of their classrooms. Uh, lacrosse plays down at Red and White Stadium, which we'll go um, down to next so you can see um, the fields from afar there. Um, sport management department is down here as well. You can see all the desks are out there trying to clean and uh, update all the flooring. One of our classes. Uh, Vitsa would like to know where's the swimming pool. The swimming pool is in Park Center. Fortunately, we do not have access to the swimming pool at this moment. Um, we did see a little earlier um, the swimming pool in the Student Life Center, um, which is now for recreational use. So anyone can use that pool. The, the pool in Park Center um, is, 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 um, oh, hello everyone. Uh, this is Harlan Metcalf, important to our rec program. Our rec um, department is upstairs. Um, but the pool and park center is, is for our varsity teams now. So um, if you're just joining us and didn't get to see the swimming pool at the Student Life Center, um, you can go ahead and um, you can replay this. This will live on our Facebook um, in perpetuity. So you can watch it really at any time and share with anyone. Um, so you could go back um, to, to see the, the Student Life Center pool um so yeah a lot of updates and and keeping things nice over the summer have a good day <laughs> making sure our floors look how shiny these floors are they look so nice okay so we're gonna hop on back with Shauna um, and see some of our other um, athletic fields. Um, we did already see baseball, we'll go by softball as well as the soccer field and the stadium where football, lacrosse play amongst other sports um, and the track as well. Our fancy little gem car just waiting for us. You can see the stadium from afar. We'll be making our way there. I'm gonna head down to the stadium right in front of the Red Dragon so everyone can see the Red Dragon statue. Off road. Luckily, this is flat right here, I think. Very accessible. Okay. You can see one of our bus stops over there um, and one back here as well. The buses are not running because the students are not here. Um, but throughout the, throughout the semesters, you would typically see the buses um, driving around campus um, and students can take those it's part, uh, for free. It's part of their tuition um, all around campus because our campus is kind of long even though we are a medium sized campus. So here's a softball field. We just did some major renovations um, and then coming up here not gonna be able to see it very well but the soccer field is right behind that um, they did just get new they look like dugouts I don't really know what they're called in soccer but where the where the players sit and we're gonna head down to the stadium give you a little View of the stadium and we'll end right at the red dragon statue for those of you who haven't seen the red dragon statue um donated to us by mike vela class f88 it's super cool um it helps us to show our red dragon pride which is really fun um and during football games when we score it actually smokes um like breathes fire <laughs> it doesn't like <laughs> it's not like broken and if you want to just swing around here we'll Kind of give them a view of the stadium. Very good. Oh, those lilies are pretty. All right.
So we here we are at Red and White Stadium, and they they named the building after Trevor Davis after the the field over there went away. Um, but kind of give you a little idea of what the stadium looks like. Cortica will be held um, here this year, so hope to see you all back in these awesome stands um, in November. And it's kind of a a view. The stadium, there is another field over there on the other side, as well as the track. Um, give you a, a better view of the Red Dragon and then we'll be Ithaca. That's right, Kathy. I love that energy. It's too much. We had a, we had a, a, a long streak and then we lost it. So we got to get it back. We need all of you cheering us on to be able to do that. So here's the Red Dragon statue I was telling you about. Um, it's, it's frequently become, um, or quickly become a, um, a great photo op, especially for the students when they graduate, alumni when you come back, um, especially during Cortica when everyone's here filling these, uh, filling these areas with their Red Dragon pride. But that's really all we have. If I have, I'm going to switch it back to me here. Ooh, or you can see the road. <laughs> If no one has any other questions, um, I'm gonna go ahead, oh, I'm trying to keep the dragon in the background, go ahead and end it. I really appreciate everyone joining us um, today, live, um, as well as on demand and sharing with your fellow red dragons on a little bit of what campus looks like today. We're hoping to be sh uh, able to share uh, some more video tours, uh, not necessarily live, but on demand on social media. Um, and of course, the best way to see it is to come back. So we hope to see all of you in November for Cortica, next July for alumni reunion. Um, we are very excited to be hosting in-person events again, starting um, in the fall. So we can't wait to see all of you so soon. Thanks everyone.